Braden Darsky. In planes, if there's a loss in cabin pressure for any reason, oxygen masks will fall from the ceiling, and they teach you to put your mask on first before you take care of anybody else. Because if you're one of those, I will not put this oxygen mask on until everybody else in the plane has their oxygen mask. I will be the last person to wear my oxygen mask. If you're one of those people, then you're gonna pass out. And somebody who did put on their oxygen mask is gonna have to help you. This oxygen mask was really cheap. I mean, I got this for a couple bucks at Home Depot, and then I Ziploc bagged it, and I got a straw, and I colored the whole thing in yellow highlighter. The cool thing about this is that you can actually write your needs on there. This thing's rather hard to show off because of the awkwardness of the shape, but here's all the numbers of the clock. And the hands of the clock actually spell out me time in cursive here. And then on the mask, I've got other wonderful things written on there, like working out, reading, fun, League of Legends. That's hard to read, but it says toys. And last but not least, prayer. The oxygen mask is a beautiful visual because it captures how you got to take care of yourself before you worry about anybody else. And secondly, you cannot give what you don't have, in this case, oxygen. And it's universal, it relates on so many levels. And I wanna talk about three examples today. Number one, money. I had this buddy in high school who would ask me every day for something to eat, and I was like, I can't give you what I don't have. I don't have anything. I mean, I brought with me five bucks because I need to eat too. And if I was to give away that five bucks, uh-uh, then I'd go hungry. No. Which leads into the second thing I wanna talk about, food. Can I have some chips? No, dude, get your own bag of chips. If I was walking around with 10 bags of chips, I'd give you a bag, but I'm emotionally attached to every single chip in here. But it got the party sized. And it is a party, a party for one, me. You're not invited. The third one that sneaks up on people is time. And it doesn't itch until after it took too long. And I'm here to lay something change my flat tire. Sure, man, that shouldn't take too long. Working on the flat tire. Two and a half hours? Are you kidding me? Had I known this was gonna take so long, I wouldn't have come. I'd have dodged this. You can't cherry pick like that. You gotta make a decision and commit to it, whether it be good or bad, and then do your best to learn from it. I didn't even wanna help you in the first place. I just wanted to read my book and play League for a couple hours. You should've. Why didn't you? And I'm here to least how much change my flat tire. <laughs> Not today. I've had a rough three days in a row, and I'm just gonna read my book for 30 minutes, I'm gonna play a couple hours of League, and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm staying in, I'm taking a daycation. Daycation! I mean, I, you caught me on my off hours. I'm not gonna take care of anybody else right now, I'm taking care of me right now. You gotta know yourself and know your limits. I was blessed with this wonderful script. You should click this box, your link's in the description, and it'll take you to this other video. You should get to know yourself, you're worth knowing. Universal ways out. Maybe the relationship isn't strong enough yet for that kind of brutally raw, honest feeling. Maybe you don't think they'd understand. But oh, you chose a video game over me? No, I didn't choose a video game over you. I chose my needs over yours. Sometimes you don't have the energy to explain it. So here's two cards to play that are universal, get out of any situation without the need of explanation or fear of hurting anybody's feelings. Number one, I have an appointment. Number two, some unexpected circumstances have arisen and are in need of my attendance. Cool, that sounds important and grown up. But there is a chance that they might ask and be real with them. Like what? Dude, I love you, but I'm empty. I'm out of energy and I need to recharge. It's a lot like this lumberjack video that may or may not be done. The box will say if it is or not, and when it is, it'll be in the description or this box will take you to it. But that video in 10 seconds or less is you gotta take breaks and recharge. That's it, but you're welcome to the extras. Side rant. I'd like to have a side rant on why it's easier to hang on to your food and your money and harder to hang on to your time. Because most of us are visual thinkers, and if I can see it, I can grip it, I can think it, I can believe it. Because, and time is harder to see, harder to grip, and it's harder to get an idea of it in your head. I've got this thing I say, it's like, I think with my eyes and I see with my brain. 
And if you want to continue this time conversation, then there'll be some videos in the description or some boxes of videos that may or may not be done yet. But for sure, there is a Swoozy video in the description. Swoozy said some pretty brilliant things about time. Blooped bloopity bloopers. Why was this so much easier earlier? I was like nailing this line earlier in rehearsal and now I'm like... God, why isn't this working? It suddenly works. Thanks, God! I'm not gonna put my mask on until everyone else is wearing theirs. I will be the last person to wear an oxygen mask. I will not put this mask on until everybody else is wearing an oxygen mask. I will be the last person to wear an oxygen mask. It's misplaced poeticism and misplaced passion. Poeticism, that's a tricky word. Misplaced poeticism. Oh, I can say it Irish. <laughs> Never try that. Uh, if something's really tricky, you try saying it in another accident and it's got fluid, fluidity. Still only gonna do the whole movie with the Irish accent. We're gonna flip the rolls. Today when we're talking about planes. Hey Dell, thanks for the cup. Recognize that. Nay, I will be the last person to wear my oxygen mask. I will not breathe oxygen until everybody in here has their mask on. I will not put this oxygen mask. Moxygen. At least there's more oxygen than M in there. I don't know what M is on the periodic table. M and M's. It's chocolate. <laughs> Mmm, that smells like chocolate. Can I have some? Get your own bag. I mean, it smells like normal air. Moxygen. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Scott. That was pretty funny. Hmm. Self-admiration caught on camera. That's as good as that's gonna get. I think. Yeah. I'm so beautiful. I'm looking at myself in my viewing monitor. <laughs> I'm like flirting with myself. So glad I got that on camera. You thought I was going to make a YouTube video? No. I just wanted to get all dolled up for myself. I'm gorgeous. <clears throat> oh, you set me up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Ah, oh, romantic setups. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I see so much of my beauty today. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wow. I'm so glad I'm getting this on camera because there are days like, uh, let's see, I probably love seeing myself more than the average person. I mean, let's let's do a side conversation here. Let's let's talk about people's beauty, even though I will be doing a video on this for real some other time, but majority of people like how they look maybe a third of the time in the mirror. I like myself maybe half the time I see myself in the mirror, so I'm definitely above the average, but um, like in the past couple weeks has not been like that at all. I've been looking at myself and like, I know I'm beautiful even though I don't see it, and today, I'm just seeing so much of my beauty. I'm like, oh, there it is. Thanks, God. <laughs> I knew I was beautiful. <laughs> Some days you don't see it, and I'm really appreciative that I see it today. I'm like, oh, thanks, Jesus. It was always there. So you might be like, oh, my goodness, this Braden guy's crazy. Yeah, whatever. Everybody thinks they're beautiful, but it's like, you know, if you had the past two weeks I've had, and it's like, oh, hey, there I am. <laughs> it's, uh, just let me have my moment. I mean, I get this moment every now and then, but this one's cool because, uh, Cut on camera. That's so cute. <laughs> so funny. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mary. Wow. Oh my goodness! Wow. That that was like a pleasurable lightning almost. Almost. It wasn't quite, but it was cool. Like I saw, I was looking here a lot, and then I was looking at my viewing monitor and then I was like, I don't know, I felt something cool like shoot up my hand into my, in my right back and I was like, mm. I was like, mm. 
This is a great day. Oh my goodness, my self-esteem's like shooting, skyrocketing through the roof.